we are going to find out 0 to infinity cos x by 1 plus x squared dx. Now, uh, the reason I've chose this integral is to illustrate to you the properties of definite integrals and to see how remarkable this is because we are going to do it using differential equations. Usually, it's a very standard exercise in complex analysis, which you do using Cauchy's residue theorem, but uh, we are going to use real analysis for this. So, uh, first of all, as we know, to evaluate this kind of integrals, but there is not a direct path, we will use Feynman's trick. So, we are going to define f of y is equals to 0 to infinity sine of xy divided by x whole into 1 plus x square dx. This is going to be our go-to function. And we are, try, uh, we are trying to get help of this function in order to evaluate our actual integral. Okay. Now, uh, this is our function f of y. So, first of all, our goal is to relate this function in all for with the with this integral and then finally find out how to get off uh, get the value of this f of y and then finally the value of this integral i. Now, notice that since we have uh, y is a parameter here, we can differentiate both sides with respect to y. Of course, this also requires further justifications. But in this case, all those uh, cases are satisfied. So, differentiating differentiating with respect to y, right? So what do we get? We get f dashed of y is nothing but 0 to infinity. Now, when you differentiate sine of xy with respect to y, what do you get? You get cos of xy, correct? And you get x as a coefficient because x is treated as a constant here because we are doing partial differentiation, right? So this that x and the x in the denominator gets cancelled off and you are left with this cos of x y by y, 1 plus x square. Now you can already see that this is nothing but is equal to f dashed of 1. Correct? But uh, we cannot stop it there. So we would do another time differentiation to get simply 0 to infinity. And then again we will get minus x sine of x y by 1 plus x square dx. I hope this much is clear. Now, how do we proceed from this point? So, what we can do is this. We can simply write f double dashed y as 0 to infinity minus x square sine of xy divided by x whole into 1 plus x square. So, I simply multiplied x up and down. And now what I'm going to do is this. I'm simply going to represent the numerator like this. So the minus is there and I will, I'm going to write it as 1 plus x square minus uh, 1 sine of xy divided by x whole into 1 plus x square. So this is the critical part here. So now when you apply uh, this uh, distributive law over the integral, you simply get minus 0 to infinity. So you take this part. So basically you take the 1 plus x square part and the minus 1 part and you uh, distribute the whole integral. So when you take the 1 plus x square part, that gets cancelled off with this and you are left with simply sine of xy upon x. Okay. And when you get the next part, you simply get plus 0 to infinity uh, sine of xy whole divided by x whole into 1 plus x square dx. Now, I'm not going to evaluate this, but I'm going to simply tell you this is equals to pi by 2 and a related video is linked on the top right in order for you to understand how this is so. And this expression is nothing but f of y. And I hope that much is clear. And therefore, we can conclude by taking everything to the left hand side that uh, f double prime of y minus f of y and then plus pi by 2 is equals to 0 and therefore we have gotten ourselves a differential equation to solve. Okay, great. So uh, let's try and solve this differential equation and let's see if we can uh, understand how to solve this. Okay, great. So the differential equation we have at our hands is this f double prime of y minus f of y plus pi by 2 is equal to 0. 
Now, uh, this differential equation can be easily calculated and you can use uh, certain methods to calculate it. But uh, I'm simply going to write down the value here because whenever you have double differentials and then you simply have a constant here, it simply means that there is some uh, constant value to this. So the value of f of y from this integral simply comes out to be pi times 1 minus e to the power minus y whole divided by 2. This is what you get. And this is uh, not a very tough exercise to do. If you know how to solve second order differential equations with linear coefficients, you would be able to uh, do this very swiftly. There is something called characteristic polynomials and characteristic equations that you can use in order to solve this. Nevertheless, uh, you can also use certain ways like multiplying f dashed y by taking everything to the right hand side and then multiplying f dashed y uh, onto both sides and then trying to simplify this further. So yeah, there are multiple methods that you can use to do this. So uh, this is what you would simply get. f of y should be pi times 1 minus e to the power minus y by 2. And well, we what we needed was this. So 0 to infinity cosine of x upon 1 plus x square, as we found out earlier, was nothing but f dashed of 1. And uh, f dashed of 1 would be simply differentiation of this at 1, which means it should simply be pi by 2 and differentiation of 1 minus e to the power minus y is, I think, e to the power minus y only. And the value is evaluated at y equals to 1. And this should give you pi by 2 into e to the power minus 1, or in other words, pi by 2e, which is the answer. So very uh, interesting and very remarkable question. We used our differential equations to solve it. So first of all, we defined a brand new function in, with respect to a new parameter y. And then we differentiated it twice. And once we differentiated it twice, we got, got back the original function. We solved for the differential equation and we got this value. And then therefore, we got this answer. Right. So that would be how we solve it. So if you like this video, let me know in the comment section. And uh, if there are anything else, you can uh, communicate to me either through comments or through the app as well. Thank you. Okay.